welcome back to Four Wheel Drive Adventure Crew. My name is Voss, and today we're doing a camping trip over to Hell Hole Reservoir. We have around 12 or 13 cars right now. Some of them are going day trip only, some of them are camping. So it's gonna be a long way in. We'll have this trip into a two-part series. One video going in camping and one video getting out. So that way you can see as much detail as you can on all these obstacles and uh, things you can do down at this place. So let's get uh, on the road and have some fun. Here's the placard for Hell Hope, Hell Hole Jeep Trail, and there's the lake way down there. And today I'm not the pilot of my Jeep. Crew chief is being piloted by Angry Kemper. I'm trying to show him what the real off-road rig is all about versus his uh, over glamper or heavy pig, as I call it. But uh, we'll see what he says about driving the this crew the crew chief over here and uh on this kind of trail so we'll see what his impressions will be taking on this kind of trail like that it's uh mid-october and we're taking on this trail on this beautiful weekend we had a uh, partial solar eclipse earlier this morning too bad it was very overcast so it was uh not visible for us it was just got dark and then sun came back out so that was pretty cool but now the leaves are changing colors and it's a very beautiful time of the year to come up here they finally lifted the uh, fire restrictions so we can actually have a safe campfire down at the lake when we get to our camp this afternoon and we have a good lineup of rigs i'll show you all the rigs on the obstacles because uh we got like 15 cars or there so and uh, it'll be hard to get them all in the shots but we'll try to do our best to get you guys uh, to see different types of rigs going through the this trail which is very nice a little bit easier than the trail we did uh, two weeks ago so james have you ever been on the rocky trail no this is definitely going to be the uh the most gnarly that I've been down personally, um, unless you unless you consider uh, watching, you know, living vicariously through the videos. <laughs> so basically, right now we will find out if it's a vehicle that any driver can jump in and take on a level eight trail with uh, minimum experience, or is it really all about the driver in this kind of situation? So we'll see what what you think when we get to all these uh, heavy duty obstacles. I think it's gonna be a lot of spotting uh, and then just kind of figuring, you know, where you're gonna land that tire. Where are you gonna put your tire? Like, you know, here I'm coming over this rock and it's like, well, there's that rock. So I'm gonna put my tire on this rock and go down this one. And watch out for that one. All right, I'm gonna see how James is gonna be able to get through this little spot. Nothing crazy, it's just a little V-rock, but a lot of people stack a bunch of rocks over here, but with my Jeep, you don't have to stack any rocks. You just have to put your tires properly. I got my something's touching on my fan. I guess I gotta stop and check later on. Yeah. 
And we got one of these brand new awesome machines. And then we got a cheating machine right there. It doesn't care what to drive over. It's gonna keep on going. All right, we're almost to the spot on the trail where you can see the backside of the lake. And the backside of the lake says it's all dry. So that's where we're gonna be camping in the lake bed, way back there. So James, right here, this is the spot where you can see the back oh. lake. You see all the grass back there? Oh, it's tons. So the lake is about, I would say, 50 to 60 feet below. So yeah, we're going to have plenty of camping area back there. For sure. I took that one time. Yeah, they drained it pretty good because the lake was full this year because of all the snow. And a lot more snow coming later this year because of the possible El Nino year. So we'll see what's going to happen, how much snow wheeling we'll be able to do this year. But while the fall is nice and beautiful, we got to get all the rock trails out of our system before it starts snowing really cool spot in the trail you're fitting in between them no problem because you got this tight spot next to a rock and nothing's really holding you going down except a couple boulders so there's the whole lake and all of its mighty just keep going down till it levels out. Well, that steering just became a banana. Tie rod's a banana now. Yeah? Yeah, you landed right on it. I know. You went too wide. My teenager's Jeep. All right, we're into the forest and we're descending on the side of the lake over here. Soon we're gonna get to one of the most nastiest spots of this whole trail, the little S-turn and a little waterfall. So we'll see how everybody will do through there. I'm pretty sure the little vehicles like the couple TJs won't have any issues. I'm more worried about like the Bronco, it's pretty wide and we have a Tacoma, but they all have our armor on them. So it should be pretty good. It's just the overall wheelbase uh, might play a little factor on how they're gonna attack that obstacle. But till then, I'm just gonna enjoy this beautiful weather outside and just driving this trail till we get to some heavy duty obstacles. So you went through some of the bigger rocks. How did that feel? Um, you know, when the vehicle is capable, it's not that bad, especially when you know what this vehicle is capable of. And fortunately, I've been blessed enough to spend some time in this thing with Voss driving. So taking cues from, you know, where Voss says to go and then just trying to play it out. It's yeah. not bad. And this trail is, uh, I would say, a lot easier in the fall versus in the spring 
because uh, in the spring you have so much snow runoff, water everywhere. Uh, I love it in the spring and everything, but a lot of times the lake is full and when you get down to the end, you got nowhere to camp right at the lake. You have to go back up and camp there. So enjoy this trail with this beautiful fall colors and everything. So it should be very nice night tonight too. Yeah, this is really, this is really beautiful up here. Keep coming. Keep coming, you're clear. Bloop. You got this far. This dent on this Jeep is from that tree from 2018. All right, looks like we, everybody's going good. Ah. How do you like it so far, dude? I love it. It's the best trail I've done so far. Is that the hardest one you've done so far? It is. Level level eight, which is technically, yeah. Yeah, yeah I did Deer Valley before. And, okay. Uh, that's you know, it's been a while, but I think this is harder. Okay. Rock well, you got, the, you got all the you got all the all the cheating oh, modes on. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. I got F one fifty with all that stuff. I would use it too if I had it. <laughs> all right. Well, we're almost to the hard spot. Okay. So. All right, let's get it going. All right, we made it to the first real obstacle. It's a lot different now. There's a lot of rocks down here. It's a lot washed out. It's a lot wider now. Before we had more rocks over here, some things have changed, but let's roll. Let's roll on down. Oh, that wheel in the air. <laughs> and that was a front dig. It's okay, don't don't put your hands there. Boom, the wheel comes down and the car levels out. Thank you. 
No, he wants to get him over this way much. Yeah, you don't want to get hung up on the rock. Yeah. Yep, skid plates. That's what they build them for. Woo! That's no bueno. Is that normal? <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of skid plates. Let's go. Passenger, passenger. There we go. Yep. Easy, easy, easy. Keep coming, keep coming. Nice. Not a skid plate. Yeah, he's running into it. I think we got to put a rock on that side. Rock under the Go back a little. Let's see how close he's going to get. You need to... Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, you got to run him up this rock. Sanya, watch out. No, no, no. No, 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 Sanya. Sanya, he needs Sanya, he... more, but... He need... back. Up, up, up. No, we got to winch him back. Yeah, winch him. hold on. Yeah, hold on. Hold it right there. We'll just pull you back. See how close. <laughs> All right. Sanya, keep him straight. Right now, he need to keep him straight. Straight, straight, straight. A bumper, 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 plastic. Go back, go back. Go back a little. Back up. More, 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 more. Stop. Yeah, yeah try pulling forward slowly. Yeah. Not yet. Yep. Let's go. Passenger, passenger, passenger. There we go. Because watch that other yep. section. Yep. Perfect. Minimum damage. Like nothing ever happened. Look at that. Yeah, like nothing ever happened. That's the beauty of plastic. It just pops back in. Max, go past that rock. There you go. Max, watch out. Sit down. Still not 100%, but yeah. way better.
Very slow. Try to go a little passenger right here. Slow, slow, slow. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, you got a, a big old bump. Okay. And then it's gonna climb another rock right now. Right there, perfect. So you wanna stick to the passenger side here. Okay. And then when you get to the tree, you cut around yep. so you can climb around that big rock right there. Got it. Yeah. All right. We got the other new vehicle, the Tacoma, which is a little longer. So we'll see. Who's guiding him? We got a guy. Okay. Passenger, passenger. Passenger. We got a guy. Passenger. You're going to have to cut passenger hard. You're going to tickle your underbelly already right there. You might have to stop and back up and readjust. There you go. There you go. There you go. You're already sitting on bed. There you go. Go, go more driver. You want to get more straight than that. There you go. Straighten it out. Straighten it out. There you go. Now go straight. Go straight till you hit that big rock up there. Passenger. Passenger. That's it right there. As soon as you get up there, then you go passenger. Yeah, I'm locked. Uh, I can't. Get up there. Keep going. Keep going. You're good for right now. You're good for right now. There you go. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, damn. Whoa. Whoa, stop, stop, stop. Turn, turn a little bit You're about a one inch from this rock. Why don't you pull his end of rear end? Can. Yeah. I can go passenger. I'll go dog. I'm doing day trip. Yeah, he's with me. I don't see any other set of. <laughs> yeah, he's back a little bit. Yeah, straighten your wheels out going straight. Yeah, don't move. Go, no, no, no. Straighten out your wheels. I can. Just wait till you roll it forward. Bound up. Okay, let me go down there and just lift it up. Bound up. Okay, 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 okay. Passenger. Uh, try passenger now. Yep, 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 yep. You know, wheel will completely into feather, into the body. Yeah, that's what it was. Passenger, passenger, all the way past it, as much as you can. Yeah. You got plenty over here. Yep. So you're about to come there down all the There you go. There you go. Wait. Wait. All right, so we got through the toughest spot on the way down. And uh, what do you think, James? I know you got through it first. What it was uh, very challenging. However, picking a line and having a good spotter pays off. Because it wasn't that bad. Yeah, some of the vehicles, uh, the new vehicles, those are the toughest ones because you really want to, you know, save any scratches as much as possible. But trail like this, it will tax you on whatever it can. So Bronco got its uh, plastic bumper scratched up a little bit. The Toyota only under skid plates underneath. But we got through the nastiest spot. So we got some more obstacles to go and we'll get into the woods and then we'll start getting down the slabs and up and over into the valley of the lake bed. All right, let's get going. All right, we made it to the ledges and my Jeep's gonna go down at first with the newbie driver. We'll see how the newbie driver can handle this kind of a obstacle. It's not difficult, it's just a bunch of steps. Bunch of steps. OK, 
Yeah, you're gonna slide all the way down, but keep it a little bit passenger, like just like that. Just like that, keep going. You're gonna have one wheel drop, then the other, then the third, then the fourth. Hug the passenger side. Just dropping down. Isn't yeah, it? just dropping down. It's just I'm putting you in this groove right here. Okay. So you have a, a basically kind of like a double step. So keep it more passenger. A little more, pa more passenger. Yep, that's the. Pa yep, yep. Slow, very slow, very, 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 very slow. There you go. Just very slow in the rear. Beautiful. Just a tow hook, no big deal. We made it down to the bottom of the lake. We got to do a little creek crossing and start looking for a good campsite for our size of a group because I think we have like 10 vehicles staying and five are going back. Two already turned around, three more are going to go back soon. But yeah, we still got running water over here. Made it down to the river. And uh, we're gonna decide where we wanna go camp. I wanna do a little driver's meeting on people who are staying to camp. And we'll go from here because to go to the Rubicon River, it's following this lake bed all the way down that way, or we can just camp out here in the open. We'll see what the people wanna say. We'll see what the group decides. 
All right, we all made it down to the river. We only have one casualty, a white. JK broke a Rubicon Express control arm. It's uh, basically a faulty design because the tube is unsupported and it's very thin. It's like a 1 8 thickness. So we'll be fixing it here, but the uh, rest of the people are gonna go and find camp. It's all good. Man, don't be sorry, man. Everyone it's breaks just, down. Everyone it's does. Part of it's fun, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm well, bro. I can weld about as good as I can drive. Here, look, it's an easy repair. I was in the Rubicon last time. Some guy blew out his uh, transfer case. He blew the gears out. Oh, I ripped the front you're stuck. control arms off from a uh, uh, razor last time we were in there. The control Where are you from? <laughs> My, my daughter, she's 10. Is that good? We yep. go everywhere. We, we've been with these guys. We can go everywhere. We, we, we get a sweet piece from the tender and the uh, public. Um. All right, Jeep is fixed and we're heading out to camp. Uh, our guys are already on that side, so we'll see what kind of good spot they got for us. All right, we finally made it to camp. It is uh, almost five o'clock, it's 4.50. And we started the trail around 11.30 this morning. Quite a bit long, but because we have a big group, that's why it takes longer. The more vehicles you have, the longer it gets. And we're at the very, very end of the lake. We're at the Rubicon Springs waterfall we just passed it getting in here we'll go out try to fish over there see if we can catch anything but everybody's just getting ready to start doing their lunch duties because uh it is late and it's going to get dark soon as you can see the sun's already over the mountain we're going to camp and uh we'll catch you guys on the next video when we're getting out of here because uh getting in here we broke a few things but on the way out we'll see what happens so Catch us on the next uh, video uh, next week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.